Who's the first person that comes to mind when you think the world's most popular podcast? If you didn't say Joe Rogan, I'm honestly curious. Whose name did you say? Drop that name in the comments after you watch this. First, let me just say I know you clicked out of curiosity. Yes, I use maximum clickbait, but I promise I'm going to deliver something useful. If I fall short, just tell me where, okay? So, the other day I uploaded an image talking about how to jack traffic. The image was clearly clickbaity AF, but more so than that, I knew it would work. And guess what? It did. I got like 300 views in one day. Big whoop, right? Well, it certainly is to me. I did that without paid ads. Feel free to see where it's at right now. But honestly, anybody can do this. So how did I know it was going to work? Because the image was sort of kind of recognizable. When you see this image, who do you think of? I did something similar for the video you're watching. How did I know you would recognize it? Simple, suggestive signature clues. You can traffic jack likeness. Some people may not want to do this. Some think it's unoriginal or I don't know, they just don't like it. While stealing whole cloth verbatim is not something I'm a fan of, I definitely subscribe to the steal like an artist philosophy. To me, complete originality. While I appreciate it when I see it in the wild, sometimes, for the most part, I think it's overrated. See, most things in life are derivatives. In fact, aren't we all derivatives? We're all some version of the two humans it took to create us and the humans it took to create them. Science and technology seem to be changing this a bit. Speaking of which, those realms seem to be the only places where originality holds a lot of weight. For the most part, we all kind of Frankenstein useful bits and pieces of things and others that came before us. Same with ideas. We all copy or use what our mentors and teachers gave us. But that doesn't mean you can't add your own unique spin. Or give your ideas some help to blast off. Even a rocket ship needs help, but only until it hits a certain height, then it separates. The other thing I think is kind of tacky, and seems to be more common as you're getting this stuff underway is, Direct mimicking or emulating your guru. Trying to be someone else you're not. I call this business impersonation. It's funny when you're a comedian, but it probably shouldn't be your whole shtick. You can't get the same love your guru gets by trying to be your guru. It's cute for the youngster, but at some point, you have to come into your own. Your own flavor or twist. Something that's uniquely you. You've got to add your own flair. You do want to express yourself, don't you? At the same time, you can't expect to get any of the popular votes without a little help. You either gotta get recommendations from your guru, get their accolades, get their blessings, get their halo, or you gotta get things juicy, like getting into a challenge with them somehow. Fame and infamy are not far apart. The bottom line is, someone else already has the attention you want. A large portion of the people you wanna to sell to are aware of them, but not yet aware of you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out how to tap into that awareness. The internet, while it can be quite noisy, makes it easier than ever in history to put stuff out there to attract attention. The problem is, it's confusing. So much stuff. Online is the battle. The ever-present fight for eyeballs. If you put out content, you're in the fight. We all want some of that attention for ourselves. One way to do that is to just siphon it from others. That's all paid ads are online. It's literally Google's business model. You type in a keyword, it shows you recommendations. YouTube is even more ingenious in my opinion. On YouTube, every video is a potential money maker for the company itself. The smart thing they did was share that money with folks like you and me that make the platform more useful to other users. This video, if I did it right, is actually a win for you, a win for me, but it's also a huge win for YouTube. And finally, by me tapping into a well-established brand name authority, without shade, without ill will, without defamation, without taking anything away from that person whatsoever, how can anything be wrong with that? Why wouldn't you do this also? In fact, my video increases top of mind awareness of the other brand in your mind, right? Look, in today's world, we're all trying to get free of working for money. The only way to do that is to start getting money to work for you. The Catch-22, we gotta get some money to speak of first. The way to do that is selling useful things to other people that they want or access to those things. What do most people want from the internet? I'd say entertainment and money. What do most people want off the internet? I'd bet it's meaning and connection. Add those all up and it seems to me you get to an experience. While I didn't mention health, health should probably be important and up there somewhere in my opinion. Speaking of experience, Joe Rogan, what exactly is this podcast about? It's called the Joe Rogan Experience. Great name. Personally, I think the dude is interesting, but I know he ain't everyone's favorite. As one of my personal favorite online personalities would say, Colin Terrio, he runs the Cult of Copy group on Facebook. He ain't everyone's cup of tea, but he sure is someone's shot of whiskey. We're all niches unto ourselves, a niche of one, some just more well-known than others. If you want to get the niche of you paid, you can and should tap into the traffic of others. With this video, all I did was tap into attentional awareness. Joe has lots of it. I just took some. You can have some too. While I can't tell you for the life of me exactly what he's about, I do know that he gets eyeballs from the types of folks I want eyeballs from. For me, that matters a lot. I simply tap into it. And you know what? The platforms I use allow it, so why not use it also? You can do the same thing. Some people do it wrong. Some steal whole cloth or some just do things to get the clicks, but don't deliver the goods. That's a broken promise. That's not valuable. Why? It breeds distrust. Trust is the glue of society. It's what societies use to run smoothly. If you entrust me with your attention, I'll always strive to deliver you value. I appreciate you. Thanks for giving me a little of your time and attention. What do you feel? Was this useful? Remember, haters are always gonna hate, but you don't have to dim your shine to light someone else's candle. The darkness is defeated in our collective light. Check out the description box for more useful stuff. If you wanna get in touch with me, ways to do that are there too. Did you find this video useful? If so, please light up that like button. It's a small act from you, but means the world to me. If you don't want to miss more useful content like this, smash subscribe and bing that bell. 
For even more exclusive content, be sure and join the newsletter. Link is in the description. And now, check out one of these other useful videos.